God the Father sent the Son. The Son laid down His life for us. And the Holy Spirit raised Him from the grave. It was a, uh, a collaboration in this mission between the persons of the Trinity. The one God. The Trinity, one God in three persons, is always something that's going to be a little bit beyond any words I believe we'll ever have. People talked about for centuries trying to figure out the Trinity. But we are left with a mystery. God is a mysterious God who has shown us how we ought to live. How we ought to live and love our neighbors. And I believe that is our calling today. Just as it always has been. That we are called to go and to seek healing in the visions of our world. We as human beings have done a really good job throughout all of history of dividing ourselves, of creating tribes, and of dividing over even the silliest things you could ever imagine. But God has called us to seek harmony, to seek the healing of the world through the power of Jesus Christ, through the power of the triune God. We seek to live into that with each day. Our mission of helping to bring harmony in a world of disorder is not easy. But it is our part of our responsibility. And so I ask that you would go forward Seeking to relate to others. Seeking to show love. And remembering that we have hope that the world truly needs to hear. That we need to share that hope in the midst of this broken world. God is calling us to great things. In some ways, it's like swing dancing. Because if it's your first time, you might have no idea what's going on. You might really struggle with the moves, but it takes time. So it is in growing in the love of God. It takes us time and practice, a humbleness to keep striving to follow the Lord, and to grow in what God has taught us. So Christ and Fields Churches, may you hear this message today that we are ambassadors of peace, seeking to do the work of Christ in healing this world through showing the world the harmonious stance of what God truly desires for us as the triune God of love that is going to make all things new. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we come before you. We pray for your peace. We pray for your guidance. We pray for your mercy. We pray that you may help us to better represent your image in our world. We pray all of this in your holy name. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, I invite you to join me in the pastoral prayer. Gracious Lord, triune God of love, we thank you for your gracious love for us, for your abounding mercy. We pray that you may teach us to share your love and your mercy more and more of each passing day. We come together as fields in Christ United Methodist Churches to pray for all of our church family. We pray for those who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. We pray for your mercy to be with them and may you bring your healing touch. We pray, Lord, for your guidance and your mercy for those who have faced 
challenges from their finances in this time. We pray for care for them, Lord, for avenues to open up to receive the money that is needed. We pray for all those who are struggling in their relationships. We pray for your peace and your healing to be known. We pray for all those who face other physical elements. We pray that you would bring your healing touch to them, Lord. We pray for all who are lonely. May your comfort be with them, O oh God. Lord, we pray for our town. We pray for our leaders, our mayor, for our town council. We pray for our first responders, our police, our EMS workers, and our firefighters. We pray for their protection as they respond to calls. We pray for all of our medical workers, all of our doctors and nurses, and all those who work in hospitals. Grant them your safety and your protection. We pray for your love to be manifested in special ways here in this place. And for those who truly need help and those who need to know that you love them. We pray, Lord, for we pray, Lord, for our changes in leadership here in this place. We pray for blessings and peace to be with all those who faithfully have laid down so much in sacrifice during this pandemic with their money, their time and resources. We pray also, Lord, for the incoming pastor, for Joe Amend and his wife, Kathy. We pray for peace for them, Lord, and grant them your guidance as they continue to come in and prepare them as they will bring about or continue your work here, building up the community, giving praise to you. Lord, we pray for all those who attend all those who are part of our church family. Help us as we continue to come together and to be able to work together for the great work that you have in store for us here in this place. We pray all of this in your gracious holy name. And we join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. At this time, I'd like to thank you all for your faithful commitments at this time and providing your offerings, your gifts, and your tithes. I'd like to invite you to join me in saying the offertorial prayer. Almighty God, we offer our gifts and gratitude this morning, not just for what we have done or what you've done, you do in our lives, but for who you are in our lives. You are with us in, in the person of the Father, the God above us. You come to meet us as the Son, as God beside us. You empower us to do the work of the kingdom building by the Holy Spirit, God within us, providing strength and boldness that we would never find on our own. May these gifts be tools that make the transformation of the world a reality. We pray this in the name of the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
At this time, I'd like to invite you to join me in our closing prayer, or our, clo our closing hymn, Come Thou Almighty King, found on page 61 of the United Methodist Hymnal.